hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is evidence and in today's video i'm going to um, talk to you about lambda school interview process so basically you know if you don't know what lambda school is lambda school is an online school where you don't pay anything to go to school and basically you go to school for like nine months and then after you graduate you pay them back 17 percent of your income for two years that's what lambda school is in a nutshell and of course i'll leave a link to lambda school in the description below so basically and um, the way lambda school works is that you when you, you sign up for what you want so they have courses in full stack web development ux ui design ios development um android development and data science and they have work and they have classes for full time which is not 40 hours a week for nine months and then they have um, classes for part time which is about 15 hours a week for 18 months so basically the way it works is that when you sign up for a particular track web development um software engineering ios development android development data science whatever you sign up for you will have a pre-course work that you have to do first and after you finish the pre-course work you um, schedule an interview they encourage you to finish your pre-course work before scheduling your interview and in today's video is mostly going to focus on what the interview is like when you get your interview like when you fill out your application first they'll look at it and see if you're a good fit if they think you'll be a good fit if they think you'll be a good fit then they'll send you a link um ask you to schedule your interview with them so the interview itself is like a 10 minutes process and the director of admissions at lambda school actually wrote a blog about what she expects you to do during the interview I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the blog post that the director of Lambda School Admission Director wrote telling you um, how to pass the interview and what to expect. But I've had my interview, I had it um, last week, Friday, and today is Tuesday. And basically, I'm going to tell you what they asked me in the interview. And in my personal opinion, I think I bumped my interview because I was. Um, <laughs> I was really nervous and I was talking too much and I think I messed up pretty bad on the interview. My interview lasted seven minutes. But um today's video I'm going to tell you like what questions they asked me during the interview process. So the first question what they asked me is like what is my experience programming on online courses? So basically they asked me like like what previous experience do I have with programming? What previous experience do I have with online courses? And I believe the purpose of this video was for them to see if you have the tenacity and ability to learn online. If you have what it takes for you to actually sit down in front of a computer for like weeks on end and learn um, programming and learn different things and be able to finish it so because they don't want people that's going to start a program and two weeks later they quit they want people who will be able to finish the entire program because when you finish the program and get a job that's how they get paid so they're really really investing in you and they want to make sure that you are you have what it takes to complete their 40 hours a week for nine months program and basically my answer was like you know i've learned how to code from code academy and udacity and other stuff so and then the next question is time commitment so like i said lambda school is like you have to go to school live for 40 hours a week um 8 a.m to 5 p.m pacific time i am in central time so for me to be 10 a.m to 7 p.m and basically they ask are you able to attend like they do not want to to miss class like for you to pass lambda school and get a job as a data scientist or whatever you have to attend 95 percent of class 
like you have to be present like five percent of the time so they want to make sure you are able to be present 8 a.m to 5 p.m pacific time monday through friday every single week for nine months they want to make sure that you are available you cannot miss more than one class a month yeah you cannot miss more than one class a month so they want to know if you have time commitment if you have family members if you have like if you are coaching a basketball team like they want to know if you have the time available to be able to attend fully and present and 100 percent like you, you do want to start then a bare minimum 25 percent of the classes which means you can't miss more than one class a month so yeah that's what i mean by time commitment and if you're doing part-time which is like about 15 to 20 hours a week 6 p.m to 9 p.m monday through monday through thursday and then 9 a.m to 2 p.m or 9 a.m to 12 p.m something like that on saturday for 18 months they want to make sure that you are you have the time to come and lambda school is like life classes life tutorial like life lessons with teachers and classmates and all that stuff and it's not like an online course that's pre-recorded that you can go through on your own at any time no you cannot go to class at any time whenever you want you can do your project at any time whenever you want no um you have to be present um at the required time 40 hours a week and you can't miss class and yeah so that's what they mean by time commitment you have the time to attend the next question they asked me is after um lambda school will i be able to do lambda nest so lambda school is nine months long and you know that when you finish lambda school your primary objective is to find a job and if you find a job then you start paying lambda school 17 percent of your income for two years and lambda school does everything in their power to help you find a job because if you don't find a job you don't get paid and you don't get paid they're out of business so they have so you finding a job is of great interest to them um i'll, I'll just show you what lambda nest is let's look here so this right here is what lambda nest is and lambda nest is basically after the nine months program so after the nine months program is over right they want to make sure you'll be able to attend Lam lambda nest as if you're attending class for full time they want to make sure you'll be able to participate in lambda nest like you participate full time in class and lambda nest is the process that will help you find a job and basically this is what is included in lambda nest next week that's next week after um you finish your course this is what um you'll be doing um next week week two this is what you'll be doing next week which is week three this is what you'll be doing next week week four and next week week five and week six so basically um lambda nest is lambda nest is what you'll be doing them the first six weeks after lambda school so that's an additional one 1.5 month and hopefully during those six weeks you'll be able to find a job but if you're not able to find a job after the after lambda nest you got not to do um, other things and lambda will continue to work with you until you find a job so basically the question is will you be able to attend lambda nest basically will you like after the first nine months is over will you be able to participate in lambda nest which is their process of making sure that you find a job because no job they don't get paid and if they don't get paid they're out of business so the next question they ask you is financial commitment because The reason why they ask you financial commitment is like you're going to school 40 hours a week for one for nine months and if you part, if you're participating in lambda nest that's 10 months 11 months possibly 12 months you know you're going to school full time 40 hours a week you will not be able to work 
And the financial commitment question is basically designed to for them to know if um it's designed for them to know if how you are going to pay your bills while you're in school. Because despite the fact that <laughs> you're in school, you still have to pay rent or mortgage depending. You still have to pay your utility bills. You still have to feed yourself, and if you if, if you have a family, you know you still have to still have to take care of your family. You can't just ignore your family because you're in school. And um, luckily for me, I'm single. Uh, I don't have a family. I don't have any responsibilities other than myself. Yay! <laughs> and so basically, the financial commitment question is like, how are you going to pay your bills while you're in school? And they want to know your strategy. Like if you have a spouse. And they want to know stuff like, you know, it's just, will your spouse be able to work and support you while you're in school? You know, um, can you, stuff like that. For me, my answer was something like, you know, I could work weekends and I could work um, night shifts um, at my job to support myself while I'm in school. So they want to see, kind of know your strategy for financial support while you're in school. And they want to hear things like, you know, if let's say your spouse lose their job, if push comes to shove, will you be able to work weekends and nights to kind of keep your head above water? So um, the financial question is basically asking like, how are you going to pay for basic living expenses while you're in school? What's your strategy? Like, do you have savings, you know, for to cover this whole time? Do you have savings and that's big enough to also cover your time in school during lambda nest and david said in the blog that i'm going to link in the description below that if your savings account if the money in your savings account runs out by the end of lambda school by the end of nine months you're going to be in very big trouble and you're going to have a really really hard time finding a job or you have a hard time doing your job hunt process because you know you need to be you just need to be able to support yourself while you and do job hunt full time. You need to be able to have money in your bank account to, like, let's say, travel for job interviews and you know, stuff like that. So, if your money runs out, like, um, when you, as soon as you finish Lambda school, you've been traveled because your only option will be to go back to work and start working at your old job full time. And if you're working full time at a at a at your old job, for example. You won't have time to do job hunt and job hunting is a full-time process so you won't you will not you won't have the time to hunt for new job you know if you're working a job just to make money to pay the bills so basically if you have money at the end of then that's good you won't feel the pressure to go get a job immediately any job that you can find just to be able to feed yourself you know, you'll be able to participate in lambda nest you'll be able to focus full time 100 percent on finding a job as opposed to just going back to work and finding anything that you can so yeah that's what basically they're asking for with financial commitment like how are you going to pay for living expenses um when lambda is over will you be able to focus full time on finding a job and if push comes to shove, can you work weekends or nights to support yourself? Stuff or things of that nature. Then the next question is, why should Lambda School invest in you? Well, let's just say I bombed this question. Like I wasn't expecting that question, you know, because and I kind of understand why they ask that question because them um, letting you go to school full time before you pay them it's a risk they are investing heavily in you and they're also taking on a huge risk you know because they're not getting paid like for nine months for one year they are not getting paid for their work and they have of course they have employees and it's a business they have to make money to pay their employees so it's a huge risk for them to really invest in you for nine months and then um when you finish school, you pay them back 70% of your income for two years. So basically, the question is why should Lambda School invest in you? Let's just say about my question. Like, I wasn't expecting that question and I just messed it up really bad. I mean, I've kind of want them to invest in me, but I never 
for a badder question. So, now that you know they are going to ask you the question of why should they invest in you, this will give you an opportunity for you to really think about the question and think about your answers before the interview. So, don't mess it up like me. Just warning you. <laughs> and then the next question is any questions that you have for them. So, at the end, they'll ask you if you have any questions for them. And basically, yeah, I asked about you know, defer, being able to defer uh, my start date. And in a different video, I'm going to talk to you about how to defer your start date and the reasons why I decided to defer my start date and the reasons why you might consider deferring your start date. And he gave me, you know, it's like, yeah, um, you can defer your start date and blah, blah, blah. And it's not going to affect your eligibility and things like that. And he will notify the admission team. So, yeah, those, those are sort of like the questions they asked me during the interview. Now, my interview actually lasted only seven minutes. So, yeah. And I was really nervous. And I'm, I think I messed it up. But, yeah. So, now, I wish somebody made this video and warned me up front about what questions they're going to ask me. So, now... That you know upfront what questions they are going to ask you. Hopefully, and that will give you time to think about these questions, to prepare for it, and so that when they call you and ask you these questions, you already have your answers. Like you already have an idea of what questions they're going to ask. And of course, the um, Lambda School Director of Admission wrote a blog about what she expects. Um, um, what she expects during the interview process and I'm going to leave that blog in the description below for your own good so yeah thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time bye